We track storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us here at 6 o'clock. Chief Meteorologist Aaron White joins us once again, and he is amped and ready to go for this yeah. eclipse. <laughs> so ready. Glasses. What do I need to know about these glasses? So basically, can't see anything right yeah, now. you can't see anything, but when you're looking up at the sun with the glasses on, you're going to be able to see the part of the eclipse, the area that's not in the totality, so areas to our south and east, will be able to take their glasses off. And How do I get the best up. picture? Well, you're gonna, if you can take a picture through the, the filter, okay. you can try that. Oh it's not going to work the greatest, but you can give it a shot. Okay. But you're going to want these glasses here in Minnesota, Iowa, because we're only going to see about 80% of the sun actually eclipsed by the moon. So to actually view it, you have to have the glasses to actually be able to see the moon going in front of the sun. So that's coming up here Monday afternoon. Again, we're going to see about 80% of, of coverage here across North Iowa and Southeast Minnesota. You can pick up these glasses at any local retailers. I know Hy-Vee is selling them. Just make sure if you are picking them up or ordering them online, make sure they are verified. They are solar filtered. Be able to filter out the sun because you don't want any damage to your eyes looking up directly at the sun. But again, we'll see about 70 to 80% of the sun covered by the moon. If you still want to try to make a plan to go south and actually see totality, that's where it's going to be really cool because it's actually going to be basically nighttime during the day for about four minutes in parts of Missouri, Oklahoma, and Texas. But Around here, we're going to see uh, sunshine still here tomorrow. We got some mostly sunny skies right now, 52 degrees in downtown Rochester. Winds out of the northeast at about six miles per hour. And across the area, we're still seeing some pretty decent conditions. Albert Lee looking beautiful right now, mostly sunny skies. Beautiful right there over the lake, 54 right now. Winds out of the east southeast at 10 miles per hour. And as we're looking ahead to our forecast here tomorrow, maybe it's a good day to hit up one of the state parks around the area. We got temperatures in the 40s by Later in the morning and 50s here for the afternoon, really a beautiful day coming our way here for your Saturday. Then we're talking about our next weather maker that arrives Saturday night through Sunday into Sunday night, tapering off by Monday morning. So hopefully just in time for the solar eclipse happening around two o'clock in the afternoon on your Monday. There may be still, still some clouds around, but hopefully those will clear out just in time. But otherwise, as we're talking about the rain, Amounts could be pretty decent. We're looking at amounts anywhere from a quarter to a half an inch here for North Iowa and Southeast Minnesota. Tomorrow on Sky Tracker 3, we got the sunshine in, in and across much of the region. We'll see clouds rolling in here tomorrow night. Then the rain arrives here for Sunday morning. It will be kind of off and on through the day Sunday and into the afternoon. Maybe a couple rumbles of thunder, mostly just rain as we go through Sunday into Sunday night before that clears out of here just in time for the solar eclipse. For tonight, mostly clear skies and 31 for a low. We'll see temperatures in the 50s here for tomorrow. Beautiful day, mostly sunny skies and a high right around 56 here for your Saturday. Your seven day forecast Well, the weekend is always in view, showing that rain here on Sunday. But Cami, after Sunday and Monday, we're tracking more sunshine and we're back to the 60s here by the middle of the week.